Okay, so, um, it's the morning now, and I already took a shower. That's why my hair looks, I don't know, it smells like salt a lot. Um, but I'm about to go driving with my dad, because I gotta do that to get my license eventually. But since I have, I have my week-long vacation next week, and since yesterday was Saturday, and I didn't wear a bra, like, all day. I was going to wear a bra, but then I was like, I don't need that. So, I mean, like, what? Like, like, that looks fine. Like, anyway. So, I gotta put everything in my bag. Yep, put it in my bag. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. I decided to spontaneously do that don't wear a bra for a week this week. Because it'll end on Friday. Friday will be the last day. And then I won't have to worry about it over the vacation. And if I want to wear a bra, if I don't want to wear a bra, it's fine. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to do that this week. And uh, I'll tell you how it's going. I like it so far. I have a big chest. So it's a bit more like noticeable for me. But I've been comfortable for it with it so far. I mean, all I really war without without a bra was uh in front of my family but um <clears throat> so i'm going to not wear a bra this entire week and i i also wanted it to be i wanted it to be a week where i'm going to go do stuff but nothing involved with school or anything and I wanted to do it earlier in the summer, so if I decided to make it like an official thing, I wouldn't have to worry about school coming around and I could get used to it, going out and everything before I had to go to school. So, I'm gonna go now. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, um, so, we just got back from practicing driving and that was crazy, that was an hour. And I'm already dressed for the, my cousin's birthday party now. It's only going to take two hours, though. And I'm trying to do some laundry, and I got to brush my hair. We came back, like, kind of late, and right now it's, like, 11.40 a.m. We got, like, 20 minutes until we can... Wait. No, wait. So we got, like, five minutes until we're leaving. I have to brush my hair. I have to finish getting ready, but I thought I'd update real quick. Okay. Um, go. Let me just show you this outfit. I mean, like, hold on. If you can see, it's kind of dark. But, um, since I'm not wearing a bra, I thought I'd layer up so it's harder to tell. I mean, it looks fine to me. Does it look fine to you? Okay, now we are done. I am dressed. I am ready to go. I even, I did my hair in a little side half ponytail looking thing. And we are about to leave soon. Let me grab like a lip gloss. Um... And I put one load of laundry in. And let's go.
These are people that own their own wealth, they can buy them. I think there's actually like races that happen. They look like you can buy a smaller version for your house. I don't think it would be your scale. Yeah. But they look just made out of nuts and bolts. Yeah. It's nice. Cute. The cake is cute. Oh, I've done cakes, but I've never done anything like this. Yeah, this is really nice. one. The icing is like real thick. Not, I mean, like, you know, it's not creamy. Right, yeah. And she cuts those letters out. She probably has a stamp. She cuts those letters out and fill the You know, once you learn this and you do it over and over, it's a piece of cake for you. <laughs> Intended. Now, is this the way they make a four now, or do you make it the old-fashioned way? I don't make mine like that. I make mine over and down. Yeah. I'm just wondering what they, how they teach them in school. I don't know. Which found. Yeah, what is that? All that. Uh, it's a little basketball. It's a hat. It looks like a little baby hat. I don't think so. No, I think so. I think so. Yeah. You know what? With spoons. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's weird that they didn't get here for the rest of the I don't know. I mean, it says kids. It says surprise. It's a surprise. Yeah. She, Julie, you know, really. She's a very excited to have her. Yeah, she loves it. Very, very good. Very good. Is there already time to eat? This stuff is so cute. And the little pops with the cars on it, Julie. Oh. Welcome. 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 Okay, so I am back from the party now. Actually, I got back like three hours ago, but... And I was just relaxing. Hold on, let's go outside. Okay, I was just relaxing. Uh, and, like, just on my TV or whatever. And, uh, and I was around 5 o'clock. I was like, okay, I better start doing something. So I got up and I officially created the channel that I am going to have and um I'm still working on my videos actually I think I'm going to actually do some tonight because I know I kept on saying that I was going to record some videos and edit them and upload them and all that ish but I I feel like I actually am tonight okay so I want to get this first video out, which you probably already have watched, since this is going to be out after the first video. Anyway, so my going braless is going good, and uh, that's the update for that. Now I have to get pictures for my YouTube channel now. I have to put the profile picture up and the background picture up or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, I am going to. I, I'm going to get to that anyway. So I need. To, oh my. I need to do some video taping. Okay. Where should I? Where should I videotape? It's kind of hot out here. It's kind of hard to see. I kind of don't want to show my chest in the video because well wait no it doesn't matter never mind <sighs> okay well I'm gonna figure that out where I'm going to film this I'll figure it out and I'll let you know okay so um it is day four of me not wearing a bra and um this I'm about to go out to Walmart go shopping for groceries with my mother and this is probably the most revealing thing I've worn like outside for a long time 
so far, like, I mean, I didn't really say, I didn't really vlog yesterday, I didn't really do anything, like, I don't think I left the house at all, and then Sunday, I went out and I vlogged, but I wore two shirts, so you couldn't really tell that much anyway, and Sunday, I was pretty much wearing a bathing suit the entire day because I had a party, so, um, and then I didn't wear a bra after that, but I did go driving, um, like, Sunday morning, and that was a bit more difficult because I was wearing this shirt that has like hold on let me get this oh see it's got like wait yeah yeah hold on no, yeah. okay there we go so it's got these like long uh things down the sleeves so like right right here it like came really low cut so you were getting a nice tasteful side boob and and so that was pretty difficult because I was trying to drive and the uh, seat belt was like pulling my shirt off my boob and my dad was very nice to me. I wasn't trying to flash him and um <sighs> and my boobs just kept falling out, man. But um but that wasn't anything about not really wearing a bra, it was because I wore such a low sleeve cut shirt. So it wasn't the bra's fault or whatever, it was my fault. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm about to leave soon. And I think I'm ready for this, like, I don't think I care that much about it. My mom, however, cares a lot about it she really conforms to society and all that stuff so like I know she's been good with a lot of this stuff because I definitely ask a lot from her I definitely like ask her to accept a lot of different things like very quickly and like and I mean, I understand that it can be hard to take sometimes, and but probably the worst part is that I'm just going to keep doing it, like, I'm not gonna stop. So, there's gonna be more to come, and she's just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Sorry, Mom. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, um... I just got back from a Walmart and I mean that was tiring and I'm tired now and but and I mean I I got some stairs and I was expecting some like I was like okay you know like I mean I even get like stairs when I am wearing a bra and uh, and so I was expecting to get some but there's just this one guy and I understand that there's going to be like there's still gonna be like creeps and perverts out there but um just this one guy it felt like and I could be just like reading into it too much but he was it felt like he was like going like walking around so he could see me because every time he he would like stare me down and if I looked at him then he would still stare and he would even smile and so it was really creepy but I mean in the society that we live in today uh you can't expect people to not do stuff like that just because it's it's just our society and we can't change it overnight I mean eventually maybe it'll get better but 
I hope so, because it sucks otherwise. Um, I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the day. Probably going to go out for the rest of the day, because it's cloudy. So, I'll be here. I don't have to deal with any of that. I mean, I did get some more stairs. And I mean, some guys, and it's all guys, like, do they think that we don't notice? Because I always notice, like, okay, I always notice, like, either they make it just, like, completely obvious, like, that one guy that I was talking about, that one creep, or they make it, like, they think they're not being obvious, but they totally are being obvious, like, they'll be staring you down hardcore, and you can see them out of the corner of your eye, and then you'll look at them, and then they'll just turn away like, we all seen you. By we all, I mean me. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, I was expecting that, though, so, like, it's whatever. Doesn't really affect my opinion on... Like, I still feel, I'm still, I still feel like going without a bra is good, you know? I still think that way. <sighs> okay, so, um, I'm about to go out to the library for a couple hours, and, um, this is day six of my no bra week, and I'm just wearing my nightshirt tied up, and since it's black, you really can't tell much of a difference I mean I don't think you can really tell a difference whether or not I'm wearing a bra or not I mean higher uh, higher whatever this is will make your boobs look saggier but I mean I don't know not really in this case for me so I just tied it and I'm just wearing shorts and my bright tennis shoes and I'm going to the library <sighs> wish me luck okay so it's the last day and um excuse my voice because I think I'm sick but it's the last day and I'm going to the mall and I'm also getting my nails done today so I just put on a tank top and this jacket over it because I'm kind of like just so done with this and I'll give you my official uh statement after today uh but yesterday when I went to the library that was fine like I didn't have any incidents um I was a little self-conscious but other than that it was like nothing else uh, okay let's go okay now I know it's dark but bear with me okay anyway so it's actually been a like a month or two since I did the week without a bra thing and um I just procrastinated and I never got around to making this video which is basically me just talking about how the week went all together and so I'm doing it now so I can finally uh get that video posted up so um at first it was good and I was really into it and I was motivated and I was just, just so like taking that week on with such a positive feeling but then after like the third or fourth day so like halfway through I was like getting tired of it I felt self-conscious without a bra and I didn't like the feeling that I was constantly getting stared at and that they were just like staring at my chest and I just wasn't comfortable with it um bras never really bothered me anyway but I just wanted to do this week to you know because I see a lot of these other girls with smaller chests that just you know they just decide to stop wearing a bra and I'm like I don't want my like conscience and just because I have a big chest make me stop 
like you know I don't want I didn't want that to stop me from like just I didn't want that to stop me and um so I did it and I'm glad I did it but it's just not something that I want to stick to it's just not not me um I find bras pretty comfortable uh but I feel now that I won't, I don't feel pressured to wear bras. I know that it's like my choice. Like, I would like to wear bras. Uh, plus, um, a lot of my shirts, they just, I don't know, they just don't look as good. Uh, I just prefer bras over not wearing bras, but. I say try it out for yourself a week and if you like it then by all means go for it I mean don't let the size of your chest stop you from doing what you want if you find it comfortable to go without a bra then go without a bra like don't let anything or anyone stop you from doing what you want and what you feel is comfortable and uh, basically that's it I have to say um, yeah, so, I mean, nonetheless, it was, I'm glad I experienced that, but just not me. So, I'm going to continue to wear bras. I recently actually <laughs> just got two more bras because I only had two, but now I have four. <laughs> okay, so, that's what I got to say.